Hey, this is Rob Thompson. This is Start Monetize a Podcast, Part 4. Right. All right, so we went over your theme. We went over your name. We went over, is it a solo? Is it a co-host? And now we're going to talk about... The equipment. What equipment do you write? Let me get rid of this as well. So what equipment? Um, very, very simple, very easy. Now, here's what I could tell you. Start cheap. There's so many and simple. There's so many um, options for you in this space. Here's what I recommend. And I'm going to give you really quick recommendations. And as you become comfortable with the equipment and you start getting into it, you start looking at what's the good stuff, maybe a little bit better quality microphone because the mics are this most important thing at the quality of the sound. And then if you're into the sound and measuring the sound, there's other other areas that you could go to. Even on YouTube, we'll have have um if I have information on on the sound quality and how you how you change the equalizers and the depth and all that stuff. That's not this. That, that's not this course. Uh, microphone. Get a microphone with a USB course. You can plug it into your computer. Start there. You don't need a mixing board. I'll I'll talk about that later. But you just right into your right into your computer. That's all you need. If you want the little you know sound splash guard here. It's up to you. That that takes away a little bit more of the background noise. Um, but a couple of things. Um, so let's let's go into which ones are are different. The sure the sure you'll you'll see the sure if when you research it. Mics are expensive. They're they're the best quality. There's no doubt about it. But they're going to run you a couple hundred bucks. The Blue Yeti mics um, matched with the headphones are going to be the most reasonably priced and the best place to start. Blue Yeti mics are fantastic. And then you all always need headphones, right? The headphones will stop sometimes when you hear like the um, the echo. If you're not plugged into headphones and if it's coming out of your computer, sometimes you could have an echo sound in your in your podcast. So you, you definitely want to have the headphones as well. But Blue Yeti mics you can find um, very, very easily, whether it's direct or, or through Amazon. And you can get anything from the $35 to $120 packages with the mic and the headphones. I like my mic um, because it's mobile, and I also got a, a carrying case with it. All right, you can see this. So it allows me to pack it up and ship it if I have to do a remote podcast or if I want to do it from a different location, obviously. The mics, um, I, I love this one. So it's it's a Blue Yeti mic and with a carrying case, and I think it was like like $78, $80, $79, $80, somewhere around there. Now, they do have the remote mixing boards. That's your next step. That's when you get into, you have dual plugs in there. You need two microphones. So if you're going to do a lot of uh, one-on-one live podcast so if you're in a conference room or you want to you know you're going traveling to someone's office to do an interview with them um, they definitely have remote mixing boards or you can stay with your stay with your computer and plug in and using audacity that that software that i showed you that is a recording software or you could do it right into anchor um, directly into there as well but the when you see remote mixing boards and it seems a little bit complicated it definitely is a better way to go later on um, if you are deaf, if, if again, as you get into it and as you get used to the equipment and the more curious you get about kind of what's the good stuff, um, I'm talking about just the, let's start, <laughs> let's start, let's keep it reasonable. Don't break your bank. And let's look at, um, let's look at the uh, mixing boards later on, unless you're comfortable with them. And then Amazon has everything you need. Everything you need that you can have delivered. It has your headset. It has different microphones. Um, it has the mixing boards. It has the big extension mics, the boom mics that come over as well. Um, I, it's all about your closeness, right, to here than to be back here or the boxiness of that. So you want to have your mic as close as you can. So sometimes, depending on your setup, you could have the boom mics come over. They look cool. They don't take up their face, so you're you're a little bit you know more visual. It's sometimes a little better, especially if it's coming down from here. So it's up to you. It's really up to you what you're comfortable with, what look you're looking for, what aesthetics you're looking for, um, and then how much you're willing to 
to pay for it. Those extension boom arms, they they tie into a desk, into the corners of the desk with a lip on it. So it just kind of cranks in there, screws in. It uh, doesn't mess with your furniture or anything, especially if you're on a conference table. Um, and they're, they're a little bit more clunky to bring around with you if you're going to move around a little bit. So I always liked kind of the tabletop mics. Um, mine is not a... It, it's, it has a hard bottom on it, so I, I like the stability of this one. Um, so anyways, I hope this helps you out. Amazon has everything. Start looking around there. You don't need to spend a lot of money. Keep it cheap, at least for the first first time around. Um, get it going. Definitely get some headphones. You can use your own headphones. I just got these ear pods in. Um, I also use other ones from uh, Under Armour that I have. They're kind of workout ones. Um, then you can get the big ones for your ears if you if you want that as well. Get the wireless ones. I would highly recommend that as well. So anyway, so that's it for uh, that's it for us here. And that's hopefully uh, the equipment will help you out. Um, subscribe to YouTube for all the other videos as well. We're coming out. We got a series of ten, and that's number four.